Yeah. Look at that, that's so cool. I feel like I should have said hello to you before I started filming you. I'm sorry, Cal. Them when this they leave? Is, um, this is called post dip. It's actually kind of like the way I was described it, it's like a band aid for mm -hmm. Neosporin. Uh, <laughs> at the end of the udder where the milk comes out, so that like bacteria and germs don't go up in. So it kind of just helps to seal it up rather than just leaving it plain. Huh. Um, we clean them with iodine and it comes out of the spray hose and then I wipe it off the paper towels. What do you need producing milk? You breed a back, so usually they have a calf, and then after about 60 days, if you have control over it, we'll try to either artificially breed them or they'll be out of the bull when they're in the pasture. So then, just like a person, a cow is nine months pregnant, and then they have a calf, and then hopefully, when they what we call come fresh, which is when they have their baby, they come back, and after a few days, they'll start to produce more milk than they made before. Yes. Is there a reason? No. I mean, my daughter's favorite cow's name is Blondie. She's a lighter colored one. I mean, mine's usually just a boring black and white one that I just like because I like it. She's probably, I've only been milking her for about a week and a half. So that's why she still just doesn't like the whole concept at all. When they're first born, they get a metal ear tag number in them that is like something that the government can track. You have to have an issue to your name. Then what we do is, you see on that one where it says the 357 or, they get that one there, what we call a heifer, which is an animal that hasn't had a calf yet. So like when they're out in the pasture, if we need to identify somebody, we go by their orange ear tag number because you obviously can't see the little metal strip that's in their ear. And then once they have a calf, they get a yellow number, which, Sometimes if we have it, we still have an extra number that goes with it, but we mostly go by your tag number. After they've been milked for probably about a month or two, I usually know a lot of them by heart, so. Are you guys camera shy? Hi, cow. I think we're scared of Marco. Hi. Hello. Hi. You guys are really cool. You're cool looking I'm cows. I'm a fan of your products. <laughs> They're all staring at us. Hi, cows. Hi. Do you grow foods for your cows here? Yes. We grow corn, oats, soybean, wheat, and then hay, which is also like big grass fields that you see out there. Hay goes into either small squares, big rounds, or big squares. So square bales of hay are yay big, rounds, which are the shredded wheat. The big, yeah, the big round ones, and then we also have long, about five foot long, by about three foot tall, big squares that we do. Huh. But you can also do what's chopping, they call it chopping for that, and it turns it into like a whole bunch of minced up grass, and then they pack it all together. Some people put it in silos, some people put it in a bunk. Some people actually put it into round bales, and then you'll see the ones that are white, wrapped in the white plastic. Those are called silos bales. And then corn, and also do where what people mostly think of is dried where it's just all the kernels but we also do chopping where it also grinds the whole stock the whole ear and everything all into this like i can take you out to the barn and show you but yeah. it's like just this whole pile of stuff and it goes into you like again a silo or a bunk and then that all usually people mix it all together then people usually will get a mix from like a feed mill or something that has minerals and other things that you put in so that the cows are getting anything that they aren't getting from the stuff that you're Hi. How are you? So cute. Are you a baby? Yeah. Are you a baby? Oh, they're so uh, cute. Are you standing up? Are they ready for food? Is that why they're all standing up? 
when they get milked, it takes a lot of energy from them. So then they come out here, they need to eat, mm -hmm. to build their energy back up. And then this food will be here for them through the whole night. Oh, nice. You seem very attentive. I didn't know if it was dinner time for them. Yeah. It's, we feed them. After they get in there, we put all the food down. Then they eat, and then in the morning, same thing. When they get loaded, then Beth and I.